Tbilisi's former archaeology museum was built in 1988. In this museum were kept the earliest specimen of tin bronze object in the world. Unfortunately, the museum stopped functioning a few years ago. But you can sneak by and explore a beautiful mystic place where you can take fantastic pictures and just sit there and enjoy yourself. On the left of the archaeology museum there is a huge statue of Saint No. This is one of the favorite holiday destinations for locals, especially on hot summer days. The area around the Blissy Sea has beautiful nature. Here you can find beaches, go boating and jet ski, go on picnic or relax at the water park. And this is Georgian subway, very warm and cozy, but not for all the people. It's a very convenient way to travel around the city. This card costs 80 cent and one trip costs 40 cent. In summer it's not hot, in winter it's not cold. Trains run at short intervals and station schemes are hung everywhere. The metro in Tbilisi is one of the simplest and most intuitive because there are only two branches. And this card you also could use in uh, buses and also in funiculars. We are in Tsatsminda Park and it looks like uh, very old buildings and very old entertainments and I'm not really sure that it's really safety for the people to entertain like this but if you want some new expressions and emotions <laughs> with adrenaline maybe it would be good for you but the view here is really beautiful, wonderful also, you could see some the city, panoramic view, a lot of mountains and green grass. It's the highest point in Blissey and located on more than 100 hectares. Prague has more than 100 years history. Mtsatsminda Park is the most popular theme park in Tbilisi. It's the best choice for fun and relaxation. You can find various cafes, souvenir shops, child entertainment center, wedding house, picnic zones and big ferris wheel at the edge of the mountain. Also from park a splendid view over the city, funicular tram and other fun attractions on the venue. Reich Park is a stunning public park located in the heart of Tbilisi. This modern park is known for its picturesque views, colorful flower gardens and unique architectural features. In Blissey on the streets you could find some drinking water. Reich Park is a popular destination for both locals and tourists. The park also features a number of sculptures and art installations as well as several cafes and restaurants where visitors can enjoy a meal or a cup of coffee. Each of Peace is a stunning pedestrian bridge that spans the Mdkwari River and connects the Reich Park to the historic district of Old Tbilisi. The bridge is a marvel of modern design featuring a unique wave-like structure that is illuminated by thousands of LED lights at night. The Tbilisi Botanical Garden occupies the area of 161 hectares and possesses a collection of over 4,500 taxonomic groups. The central entrance to the garden is located at the foothills of the Narikala Fortress. Its history spans more than three centuries. The collection of rare plants at the botanical garden will be of interest to those who love plants. In 
anyone can enjoy a quiet moment in nature while sitting in the shade of a centuries old tree near the river. When you go out uh, for botanic garden, you should try this ice cream from the wine. If to be honest, the difference not so high, practically as normal ice cream. But you could smell a little bit uh, wine and maybe you could be a little bit drunk, but not so much. Tbilisi cable car is connecting Rike Park to the fortress of Narikala. Narikala offers you some of the best panoramas of the city. Also called the mother fortress of Tbilisi, Narikala is a nation symbol of Tbilisi's defense. The fortress consists of two walled sections on a steep hill between the sulfur bars and the botanical gardens of Tbilisi. On the lower court there is the recently restored St. Nicholas Church. Aside from working the fortress walls, other things to do on Narikala Hill include visiting the mother of Georgia statue. The Chronicles of Georgia is one of the must-see places in the whole city. The monument was created in 1980 by the sculptor Zurab Seretelli. Some of the events depicted are the Last Supper, Palm Sunday and Pentecost. You will also see scenes from famous poems Kings and Saints Leaves. Tourists can also see almost every district of Tbilisi from the same heights the monument. The monument at night is very exciting. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel. Put likes. See you.